Goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, today, right here in front of us, we have ourselves the newest product by the company, Lini. I've actually reviewed their mobile photo printer and it's actually really cool. You can do Polaroids and all that kind of good stuff. Check out the channel for that video. But right here in front of me, I have their mini portable projector, which is awesome. I'm actually building out a van for van life right now. And so this will be super fun for camping to project this up against the side of my van or even use this in the house for fight night, etc. And just like all my videos, in the description box right below the video, top link is gonna be this exact same projector where you guys can read more about it and pick one up yourself after the video is done. Let's get right on into it. Let's see what we got inside. And if I didn't mention it already, this is a full 1080p native projector. Looks like we have some hardware, maybe some, yep, there's our power cable there, remote control, projector stand, looks like a short HDMI cable, power adapter, tripod stand, which is great to be able to mount that on your camping table, etc. Remote control is nice as well, so you don't have to get up, fumble with it. That does need two AAA batteries, which I don't believe it comes with, but I'll let you know. And coming to our projector unit right here. Okay, there she is. We do have a lens cap on there. Go ahead and pop that off. All right, we have our remote sensor right here, name brand on the side here, speaker on the side, ventilation, or potentially speaker on the back here. We'll let you know about that. This might be ventilation or speaker and speaker here. This is definitely a speaker on the back here, I assume. Don't quote me on that one. You do have a tripod, of course, your tripod stand mount right there. You do have some soft pads on the bottom if you don't wanna use that and rather just put it down like this. You have your focus wheel right here, your on and off button right here, LED indicator light. You have your DC in, two USBs, one HDMI, your IR and your headphone jack right here, your AUX if you wanna game or whatnot. Let's say you're doing van life and you want this in your van. You can van life that and plug in your headphones. I will also let you know most likely this will be reversible, meaning that if you did wanna mount this on a projector on the ceiling like this that you could flip the image especially in van life you could have that mounted to your roof or in your gaming room office and then the projector would shine and then you could flip it so that it would be right side up instead of upside down, if that makes sense. Now in the little packet with all the power cables, et cetera, is this little guide right here. This is your instruction user manual right here. And give that a read over, let you know about the projection distance references, homepage, cleaning, all that fun stuff there. Well, let's play around with it. Now, let me show you what most of us would use this for. In the HDMI port, I have my Amazon Fire TV stick. So we do have it plugged in the outlet. Your Google stick, Amazon Fire TV stick, Roku stick, it all applies. If you don't feel like getting out your laptop and attaching the HDMI cord, etc. Okay, remember you do have two USBs in the back of the device and it's actually a pretty quiet projector. The fan is going, but even if that was close to you, that wouldn't affect you. Of course, we're gonna be testing out the speaker here in just a little bit. Remember, you can connect either headphones or a 3.5 millimeter jack to a bigger external speaker if you'd like to. And then all you would have to do is just lower the volume down on this speaker or kill it entirely and have all of your volume off of an external speaker. Okay, so with the two USBs, we are charging my phone, but unfortunately you can't mirror anything even with a data cable inserted in the USB port. This is only going off of HD. HDMI, but if you had an HDMI to a type C, you could go ahead and do that. It would be nice if this projector did have Wi-Fi capability, so you could mirror, just go straight off your cell phone. But what you can do is you could have a thumb drive USB, stick that in, and play the file. And just a little heads up for you here, I actually had to unplug my USB charging cable for my phone, replug in the HDMI Fire TV stick for the projector to know which port it needed to go out of. And then you can plug back in your USB charging cable if you need to charge your phone while you're watching your Fire TV stick. So hopefully the camera's gonna do this justice, but it looks really sharp. I do have an ambient light on over here next to my computer, and I am in a complete remodel, so it's actually shining on wallpaper. It looks a lot better in person. I mean, it still looks really good on camera, but again, I'm filming on a camera to the projector, so if you were here in person with me, it looks even better than it does on film. Colors are nice and sharp, but you can see a little bit 
right here. Let me walk up. You can kind of see the wallpaper in the background as you can see there. If that was on a projector screen or a white wall, I think that would look even better. You wouldn't be able to see a little bit of wallpaper action in the background there. Absolutely fantastic. That is pretty huge. I have it approximately, and we'll kick the lights on for just a second here. And forgive me, I got a lot of stuff in here. This is a full remodel. This will be the future theater room right here. So as you can see here, that's a pretty decent distance away. I want to say 12 feet ballpark might be somewhere. Yeah, somewhere right around. I think the whole room is about 15 feet across. Don't quote me on that one. So it lights it up really, really big. So here's like a full on tripod, as you can see right over here. That's a big area to light up that wall. So let's cut the lights again. All right, we can't play too much of this because of copyright, obviously, but look at those colors. This is obviously fully video rendered out beautifully. And again, you can see a little bit of my wallpaper when the light shines right over here in the corner. And, uh, but goodness gracious, wowzers. Now this is professionally color graded, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because it's shining up on the wall just beautifully full 1080p HD. I mean, if you had a projector screen, I would say that looks 4K to me. It says it does support 4K and is native 1080. And I think for a little projector, it actually does a very nice job here. Look at those colors. And that's filling up my entire wall. That is wild. So you can mess around with the volume as well. I have a light on the background now. That was fully dark as what we just saw here. But you can toggle up the volume. I'll be quiet for just a little bit. Obviously that's kind of just nature noise. So in regards to the speaker, it does do the job. There is reverb to it, but it will get the job done if you are camping in a pinch. But what I would actually do is again, plug in your headphone jack AUX 3.5 millimeter AUX cable, and then into an external speaker. And it doesn't matter what speaker, as long as the speaker has that 3.5 millimeter AUX port as well, then you could play whatever you wanna play off of that speaker and then just hit mute on the remote control here. What is nice is that the remote control does have different functions to it. You could toggle between your picture mode standard, you can do contrast and star, I have the lights on right now. Uh, brightness, color, sharpness, etc. You can do color temperature, aspect ratio. You can do 4.3 auto or 16.9 obviously is what all videos are playing at these days, except for vertical video. And again, like I mentioned, it's only 40 dB sound, very quiet. And then if you need to focus, of course, use your focus wheel right there. Go ahead and if you don't want to use your Amazon Fire TV stick and you rather game, plug in your HDMI to your gaming console and go ahead and use this projector to game. All right, we're gonna actually play my own video now and we're gonna listen in a little bit. And we don't have to worry about any kind of copyright because this is my own video. A lot more snow than we anticipated. Slappy and I run the streets. <laughs> So obviously this is my wallpaper, so ignore those little black lines going up and down. But this is on a GoPro 11. This is uh, on my other channel on YouTube and not professionally color graded. Look at how good that looks. Just ripping some good snowboarding. This was up in Breckenridge. My other channel is always linked below. Binsberg Films. Look at that shot, that's nice. That was from the jacuzzi. This projector does a great job. I'm actually very impressed. Now we're doing some fat tire biking right here. I think you guys get the idea with the colors and how it looks. Look at that, Winter Wonderland. That was absolutely amazing up there in Breckenridge, Colorado. We're using fat tire bikes, absolutely stunning. Look at this, going through the trees. All right, I think you guys get the idea. This does a very nice job. Again, we're completely dark, except for a little bit of uh, ambient light from my uh, computer monitor and outside my uh, porch light over there. But pretty much just cut all your lights. And I mean, I could still be right here on a couch eating some pizza. And that's what I plan to do. This was a really nice snowstorm or just fat tire biking through. This is the speaker.
Now while the projector is firing up, one small con is that once you focus the wheel in, especially from this distance, the lens goes too far in where you can't put the dust cap back on. So in this case, you would actually have to thumb it until the lens comes out and then put the dust cap on, or what you could do is put some sort of dust covering over the whole entire projector and that would help out. Now, obviously with a lot of light coming in, the projector doesn't do as well with full light coming in. Let's go ahead and close these curtains here and we'll just see what it looks like with semi blacked out curtains. So again, not the best blackout curtain-ish. And so now we're playing a 4K YouTube video once again and it just needs to be a lot darker. If this projector was closer up, I think it would do a better job in the daytime. There's just too much light coming in my windows, especially with the one right next to it. And so my overall summary is that it is a great projector for nighttime. During the daytime, Let's go back to the menu here. So the menu you can actually see a little bit better, but it's still not watchable unless it was fully dark, like we've already seen in the video. Once again, top link in the description box below will be the same projector where you guys can read more about it, pick one up yourself. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like more videos like this, as well as tech reviews, DIY van builds, house projects, and more. Once again, your links are in the description box. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.